Okay, here we're asked to graph a line. Now, we're going to need to recognize ourselves that this is a line. And to do so, we want to notice that this looks like f of x equals mx plus b. Here, m is the number that's in front of x, which in this case is one, negative 1 fourth, and b here is 3. If we can find the slope of a line and the y-intercept, we should be able to graph it. And here's how we do, do it. First thing we do is we draw a little grid. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the y-axis and I'm going to go to our y-intercept, which is 3. So I go up 1, 2, 3. So this is 3 units up. And right here I draw a dot because that is one point on the line guaranteed. Now what we do is we use the slope to get to another point. Now remember, slope, okay, the m is negative 1 over 4. This is equal to our rise over our run. Now notice with the negative, I put the negative up on the 1 and that's standard practice. You get to actually choose though, you'll get the same result if you put the negative on top or on the bottom. But the important thing is that you do not put a negative on the top and the bottom. It's one or the other. So I chose to put the negative one on, or the negative on the 1. So now from this point to get to another point on the line, I'm going to rise by negative 1. Now, rising by negative 1 actually means not rising, but going down by 1. So I, go, I just use my pen, and I go down 1 here. Then I'm going to run 4. Now, 4 means to the right. If it was negative 4, it would be to the left. So I've gone down 1, um, and now I'm going to go to the right 4 places. So let me see. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So if this is 4 units. I went down 1. I went over 4. Here's another point on the line. And now all I have to do is connect those two points, and I have my straight line, and that's the graph of that linear function.